Welcome to the final lesson of this of our series on how to build a schedule in Primavera P6. Remember, we're working on a very simple schedule, which is, of course, a community health center project. And as at the last lesson, we had already created and assigned the resources. So in this lesson, which, of course, will be our final lesson, we're now going to load the cost or assign the cost to the activities. And we're going to be following exactly what we have in this simple schedule, in this brief that we have here which of course is what is listed here for each of those activities. So once again, welcome to my class and then let's dive in. So if you notice in the final class, this is basically where we left it, where we assigned the resources. So next is to assign the cost. So assign the cost, what we now need to do is again, we're gonna be adding a column, which in this case is the budgeted total cost column, because that's the column we're gonna be using to assign our cost. So by now you should know how to add columns if you've been following this series. Just in case you miss any of those videos, I recommend you start watching from lesson one and then you'll be able to appreciate where we are at the moment. So in order to add this column, again, I right click within my table, then I go to columns, then I come to available options, then I go to group and sort by, and then I list. The column in this case is the budgeted total cost. I scroll down, until I see budgeted total cost. So you can see the budgeted total cost. And because I want it to come directly under my resources column, so I select resources on the right-hand side. And remember, these columns here are the ones that you already have in the table. So I now click on add to list. So once I add it to list, it comes directly below my resources column. Then I click on OK. With that, you can see my budgeted total cost column shows up as one of the columns here. Now, we can also do some amends, like changing the currency and the rest of them. All of those details are typically what we explain, especially in the full course. But here, we're gonna work with the default currency. So if, for example, we now wanna assign costs to each of these activities, if you notice, if I try to enter any amount here, I'm just typing an amount, I'm typing in my keyboard, I'll not be able to enter any amount directly under the budgeted total cost in my table because Primera doesn't allow us to directly enter cost from the table. So how do we do that? We now use what we call the expense tab. That's the way we can assign cost to these activities. We need to use the expense tab in the detail view. So if you take a look at the detail view, we have different tabs here, yeah? general, status, resources, predecessors, successors. We're looking for the expense tab, which is not displayed here. In order to add some other tabs, what we simply need to do is you right click on any of those tabs in the detail view, then go to customize activity details. So you can see the activity details window pops up. The tab we're looking for is expenses, which is this one. So select it and click on this arrow that's pointing to the right. This is the add to list button. So click on the single button and see it adds the, the expenses tab to the right. Then click on OK. So once you've done that, you notice that the expenses tab is added. And from this expenses tab that is added, in order to now assign costs, we're going to be using this add button at the bottom left to be able to assign costs to each of these activities. So I'll begin from my first activity, which is the C1000. Again, let's quickly check the brief and see exactly what we have there. I want to split my screen uh, so that I can have the brief on one side and then also have my Primavera on one side. So the first activity is the C1000. So you select the C1000, then you come here to the bottom left and click on the Add button. Make sure you're in the Expenses tab in the Detail view. Click on the Add button. So once you click on the Add button, it will create a new expense item portion for you, you will see the column for budgeted cost. This is now where you enter the budgeted cost. So in the first case, the site preparation is 150,000. So I type in 150,000. So the moment you type it in, you notice it begins to now show up within the table. Then you repeat the same process for excavation. So you select excavation, you click on the add button, and then under the budgeted cost, you type in the amount, which is 180,000. Then we go to foundation lane, we click on the add button again, and then under the budgeted cost, you type in the amount, 
which is 500,000. Then I go to my utilities. Again, I click on the add button and under the budgeted cost, I type in the 200,000 amount. So this is exactly what you're gonna do for all the activities, including the framework erection, which the budgeted cost is 900,000. Then the wall construction, which the budgeted cost is 700,000. Then the roofing, which has a budgeted cost of 600,000. Then electrical wiring with a budgeted cost of 300,000. Then plumbing, which has a budgeted cost of 400,000. Flooring with a budgeted cost of 350,000. Painting with a budgeted cost of 500,000. And the last one, final inspection with a budgeted cost of 100,000. So with that, you will notice that we would have been able to fulfill the brief. You can see everything we have in this brief, which is in this table, is exactly what we have replicated in Primavera. From the activity ID, then to the activity names, then also to the duration, then also to the predecessors, as well as the resources. And then finally, you now have your budgeted cost, which is also what you have here. Notice that Primavera will sum up for each of those work packages. And that's what you're seeing here. This is the summation of these three, while this is the summation of all the activities that you have on it, which are, of course, from electrical wiring to final inspection. Then to add everything up at the top, to auto sum everything at the top, which is now the sum total for the project itself. And that's exactly what you're seeing. So you've been able to follow these steps and get to this point. You'd have been able to create the simple schedule that you have in that particular brief. And I hope this series was quite an exciting one and you've learned one or two things from it. I want to invite you to actually join our cohort, which of course we normally hold online. We usually have people from everywhere in the world and it's usually an exciting moment. This will help you build deeper insight and understanding into how to use Primavera P6. And here you're going to be working on real life projects. So by the time you're done, you'll be working on nothing less than five different projects. And that would, of course, help you to be able to build your confidence as well as your capacity in Primavera pieces. Don't also forget, you can also, you know, purchase this course on Udemy, which is, of course, very, very affordable, and by following the link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching and for pushing it up to the very, very last part of this particular section. And as a compensation, if you choose to sign up for our training, you're gonna be getting a 10% discount. And I hope this series has been quite informative for you. Thank you so much. And I wish you the very best in your career. Thank you and God bless you.